Coming up on Lifestyle Magazine, comedian Norm Crosby talks about life, love, and laughter with Mike and Dr. Lee Burke. Here's Mike. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Welcome to Lifestyle Magazine, everyone. Dr. Lee Burke is associate professor in the School of Allied Health Professions at Loma Linda University. His specialty is humor and how it affects us mentally and physically. Welcome, Dr. Burke. Nice to be here. We're glad to have you. So how on earth did you get started studying humor? Oh, my goodness. Oh, in 19, early 1980s, I was interested in the effects of uh, uh, exercise on the immune system. Mm -hmm. And we found that exercise could actually change immune system parameters, mm -hmm. optimize the immune system with moderate exercise. After we studied that kind of information relative to lifestyle, mm -hmm. we were interested in were there other things that could improve health? Right. So we started asking the question, wait a minute, there is a phrase in the Bible that says, a merry heart doeth good like a medicine, mm -hmm. Proverbs 17, 22. Is it possible that when one is happy or laughs, is there, is there a change or are mm -hmm. there changes in the body physiologically, biologically? That's how we stepped into that uh, world. So what did you find? Does it really help us? It helps us tremendously. Uh, in the early days, we, and I say early, in the mid 19 80s, uh, late 1980s, mm -hmm. uh, we showed that watching humorous videos that induces mirthful laughter or happy laughter mm -hmm. actually would decrease detrimental stress hormones such as cortisol mm -hmm. or adrenaline, which is epinephrine. Right. And so there, there were real changes in the body relative to stress hormone reduction huh. with watching mirthful laughter or humor. This reminds me of, of what uh, Norman Cousins went through, is that right? Yes, Norman Cousins was um, a gentleman that actually started the interest in the value of laughter. Right. Um, some of your viewing audience may remember that he was the editor of Saturday Review, mm -hmm. a journal that was in existence in the U.S. many years ago. And Norman contracted a disease called angulosing spondylitis. It's mm -hmm. an autoimmune disease mm -hmm. uh, with, with connective tissue problems. You make antibodies against the connective tissue in the spinal cord. Right. And Norman uh, was a very intelligent man to realize where negative emotions he thought made him sick, mm -hmm. positive emotions might make him well. Right. So he said, well, what kinds of things that, uh, what kind of things would elicit positive emotions? Right. And he thought, well, laughter, mm -hmm. uh, being happy. Well, he could do something about laughter right. by watching videos that induced laughter. Okay. So he talked to his uh, physician about this and the physician said, try it. <laughs> so indeed he did. And uh, he went into a motel room and at home and started watching videos that mm -hmm. induced the laughter. Right. After a period of time, uh, something surprisingly happened. His autoimmune disease started to decrease. Okay. So he went into remission. And as a consequence, everybody jumped on the bandwagon saying, indeed, that laughter may be good for you. It may have biology. It may have biotranslation. That's incredible. Talk to me a little bit about the biology of hope. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we are now studying uh, the aspects of anticipating happy events, mm -hmm. anticipating laughter events. So if you're mm -hmm. looking forward to watching a comedy video or something pleasant, uh, you anticipate that or mm -hmm. you, you're, look, you're, you're expecting something positive to happen. And it's interesting that certainly in the English language that the words anticipation or expectation are synonyms for the word hope. Mm. So we are intrigued with the concept that there may be a reality to the biology of hope. Right. Let me give you an example. If you or I were going to have a root canal tomorrow, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. we would be thinking about it today. This is the opposite. Right. <laughs> so we, our blood pressure would be increasing. We'd have perspiration. Right. Uh, every time we thought about it, tomorrow. Yeah. The same is true relative to the opposite when we think about positive events. I'm looking forward to something good going to happen. Mm -hmm. I'm looking forward to watching a positive, laughing, humorous video. Right. 
Let me tell you something. I used to be a hospice and a hospital mm -hmm. chaplain. Yeah. And there were times when we saw patients who really should have been dead. In other words, the doctor said, I have no idea why he's alive. But Christmas was coming or Thanksgiving or some special occasion. And it seemed to us that they hung on because they knew family was coming or this special event was happening. Right. It, have you found any research to support that? Yeah, there, there's research that shows that when you anticipate or look forward to hanging on to an event that's coming on, mm -hmm. patients, some patients seem to survive that and they actually wait th through the holiday mm -hmm. and unfortunately they die, after, die the after the holiday. So there is a biology, a physiology that goes along with that thought process, which mm -hmm. re really tells us something about the linkage between the mind, mind. and the body mm -hmm. and the spirit. Mm -hmm. So that as you think about this relative to uh, a mindset, that translates. The word I teach my students at the university is uh, it, it biotranslates. Mm -hmm. So the biology goes along with the thought process, which shouldn't be surprising uh, yeah, right. in, in modern medicine today. So bottom line, you have found that the scripture is true, that a merry heart does do good like a medicine. Well, there's nothing more modern than the concept that happiness is good for you. Right. Uh, I, I work in a field of, of medicine called psychoneuroimmunology. Right. All that means is what is the connection and interplay between the brain, mm -hmm. the stress hormones, and the immune system? They all communicate. Right. As I tell my students, how do you think the body hangs together if it doesn't talk to itself? Mm -hmm. And indeed it does. So we, we look forward to positive events. Mm -hmm. And in looking forward to positive events, right. that biology translates in a beneficial direction. Very good. Well, we're going to have on a guest next who has helped me with my health, I think, because he's made me laugh a lot. And we'll be right back. Welcome back. We're joined by one of my favorite comedians from way back, Norm Crosby. Welcome, Norm. Thank you. It's a joy to have you here. <laughs> Lee, good to see you. I, I have loved your humor. You do something very, very unique with your humor, and I just adore it. It's Thank great you. stuff. So what got you started as a comedian? Uh, I don't know. I, I like to sleep late. Uh, <laughs> I guess every comedian starts out by being the funny guy with the family in right. the neighborhood and the pool room and class the kids clown. in school. Yeah. Uh, not really the class clown, but I was never physical in, in humor. I just, uh, I had funny thoughts and I could say them mm -hmm. in a funny way and uh, I just drifted kind of slowly into comedy. It was an avocation. I had a, mm -hmm. I was a, a, an advertising manager for a retail shoe company in Boston. Come on. And I did uh, all their point of sale, uh, mm -hmm. magazine, newspaper ads. Mm -hmm. I did, I wrote cop 